Hello! In this video tutorial, you will learn how to create an assignment in WebAssign using questions from a textbook. To add textbook questions to your assignment, you need a current course using that textbook. To start, click Create Assignment. Under Assignment Settings, select an assignment template. WebAssign provides several default assignment templates with recommended settings for different kinds of assignments. If you don't like the default template settings, you can create your own assignment templates. Just search the help for assignment template for instructions. We will use the homework WebAssign default template for this assignment. Under assignment content, type a name for your assignment. The name is how your assignment is listed in WebAssign. If you want, you can add a description or instructions for the assignment. To add questions to your assignment, click the question browser button. Your textbook is listed here. Select the chapter your assignment will cover. To see the questions for a specific section in a chapter, click the section name. Review the questions for the section and click Add beside the name of the question you want to add. When you add a question, it's listed on the right side of the question browser. It's not actually added to your assignment until you click Update Assignment at the bottom. Let's add a few more questions. Always make sure to add questions that relate to the material you are actually covering, and don't add too many questions. Some of the most frequent complaints from students about WebAssign are about assignments that are either too long or that test concepts the instructor hasn't taught. Giving more and smaller assignments also helps you to better identify what concepts your students might be struggling with. If you want to remove a question from your list, just click the trash icon beside it. You can rearrange the questions in your list by changing the sequence number for any question. The questions are reordered as soon as you click or tab outside of the sequence number field. Once you've added all the questions you want to use, click Update Assignment. The questions are added to your assignment. By default, each question is worth one point for each question part. So a question with 16 parts is worth 16 points, and so on. You can change the point value for each question individually if you want. Or you can change the total points for the assignment as a whole. When you click Distribute, the points are divided evenly among all of the questions on your assignment. When you are ready, click Save. Your assignment is saved to your My Assignments list. Once you have created an assignment, you can use it in any of your courses. There are many options that you can set for your assignments. For example, you can add question pools, allow students to show their work, add bonus or penalty points, or give your students more or fewer submissions. You can find other video tutorials and much more information in the online help.